Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about Mega Menu, the category and subcategory type. So once you are logged into your WordPress admin panel, go to the Appearance Menu section and select the main menu for your site, which is the menu connected to the main menu location. The main menu is visible on desktop and tablets. Below the tablet version, it, it is not visible. So as you can see, I'm using the demo3 layout and we already have a mega menu in place. This mega menu is built using the sidebar and the individual blocks in this sidebar are basically widgets. So this is a menu widget this is another menu widget so what i've done is i've created several small menus and then embedded the menus using the menu widget in the sidebar the sidebar which is used for this mega menu so if we just look at the settings so here i have enabled the mega menu so note that the mega menu option is only available on the first level of menu items. So it is available here, but it is not available on the third menu item, third level menu item. Similarly, it is not available on the first level menu items. So now we have added a new feature, which is the category subcategory type mega menu. So it functions almost in the same manner. So what we'll do is we'll add any page and we'll make it the first level menu item. So we can see the mega menu enable disable switch, but the switch will not function unless we save the mega menu. So now we have saved the menu and now if we open this and enable it so now after enabling this you can select the mega menu type so for this tutorial we're going to use the category terms subcategory terms type so here you can select any category term which are registered on this wordpress site so you can select any taxonomy here for for this tutorial we'll select the course category taxonomy and we'll select the number of columns so five column currently does not work for this mega menu type. It works for the sidebar, but not for the category terms or the category posts because we are using the bootstrap layout for these two mega menu types. So we'll select the columns as two and now we'll save the template. So once we have saved the template, we, we simply reload the page. We are getting the category and the subcategories. So to confirm this, we'll go to LMS course category section. And here we have the course categories. So it is important to note that the order field is required for course categories. This is the order which, which determines the appearance of the categories in the, so these are the parent categories and the subcategories of each of the parent categories is displayed here. So important point to note is that if the category term order is not defined, then it is not displayed. So after adding small custom CSS, which is shared in this article, I've been able to convert this mega menu of category and subcategory type into this. So I've defined the custom colors for each of the sub menu. So important point to note here is that the category structure should be of the order of parent to child. So if you add another category,
then it will not appear because it is a subcategory of the of the subcategory so that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching